This is my laser gun. It's a 3D printed gun that shoots a 2.5 watt laser. So why did I make it? Because it's a laser gun, and I could. It has four firing modes, semi-auto, three round burst, fully auto, and beam. The focal length of the laser is adjustable for different distances. The trigger is connected to a potentiometer, allowing the laser to turn on with a weak beam for aiming when the trigger is slightly pressed, and to fire when fully pressed. Unfortunately, you don't get a very good perspective of how far the beam is visible for, but it is a very long way. I'm going to talk a little bit about the design of it, and then you'll see more of what it can do. I initially made a few sketches of how I wanted it to look, and then took some measurements of the battery and laser, as these were the biggest components, so it would determine how big it would need to be. Once I had the design in mind, I started to model it in Autodesk Inventor. First, I modelled the outer casing, then started to create space for the components and wiring. Once all the parts were modelled, I made them into an assembly to check they all fitted how I wanted. Then finally, I had to slice into parts so it fit on my 3D printer bed and make a way for it to fit back together. I exported each of the parts as an STL file so it could be imported into Slicer for 3D printing. I checked the Slicer model looked correct and had appropriate supports, then exported the G-code so I could print it. Here you can see the trigger being printed on my Prusa i3 3D printer. I used black PLA for all the parts and printed them with an 0.4mm nozzle, 0.2mm layer height and 10% honeycomb infill. In total the parts took about 28 hours to print. While the parts were printing I worked on some breadboard prototype circuits and code for the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller. Once the parts were printed the supports needed to be removed and there was a little bit of cleanup required. When all the parts and components fit nicely together, I can wire up the circuits and test it. Now I've made the circuit and programmed to 80 tiny, all I have to do is put it into my circuit and switch it on. And that's a bad sign. Attempt number two. It turns out you have to put the chip in the right way, otherwise it won't work. And there we go, it's working. The parts are all printed and the circuit is now working, so all that needs to be done now is to put the parts together in the casing and bolt it together. Here it is assembled. There is a knob to control the mode which it fires in, and on the other side is the power switch. When you turn it on, the LED rapidly flashes to show it's been switched on. Then it will indicate the mode or if the battery is low. Here's a demo of its different firing modes. The laser pulses consist of being fully on for 50 milliseconds followed by 150 milliseconds of being off. In beam mode, the laser power is proportional to the trigger's position. Now you can watch me shoot and burn some more stuff.
I'm sure you're curious as to what happens if you shoot a person with this. I was too, so I tested it on my arm for science. Now just a word of caution, this is a class 4 laser, so it can cause instant and permanent eye damage. Being shot by it initially stung a little bit, and left a tiny burn mark. After about the day, the burn marks look like this. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to comment below.